And now I get to review something I've really been looking forward to um, is to review the detail brush set that I got from Fire In Me. Um, these brushes are pretty cool. I've, I've used them a little bit and my son was here over the weekend and he um, paints these little miniatures and he used them too and both got a seal of approval. Um, but what I want to do is basically give you a little demo on how to, how to use them. Um, whatever that means. I use a lot of mediums. There's, uh, I've got the intense, uh, intense colored pencil sort of. I've had these for quite a while. They really lasted a long time. Um, I love to use these kind of things for, for different creations. Um, Sometimes I just want to paint just just to paint for myself. I, I do quite a bit of commission work. Um, currently I'm illustrating a, a children's book. Um, and even though that's fun for me, it's still something that I like kind of have to do right now because I already got paid for it for one thing and their publisher is expecting that um, to have all 40 illustrations in their hands um, by December at the latest. However, I'm shooting for the end of October. Fingers crossed. I think I can do it um, as long as I keep doing things in between so I don't get quite so caught up in the world of Rupert, which is um, pretty magical, really. I kind of um, am learning an awful lot about the pagan beliefs. It's a, it's a children's story for um, pagan children. Actually, it's for everybody, because um, I'm finding there's a lot of parallels um, in pretty much a lot of different beliefs, so it has nothing really to do with that. It's just a pretty awesome character. Uh, Kira's done a great job at bringing Rupert to life, and I've been lucky enough to um, be given the chance to um, put my own spin on it. With that said, um, let's get back to this little demo here with these these brushes. It came in a set of 15 and here's the case it came in. It's, it's got a zipper case so like if I really wanted to um, put them back in there I could. They came individually wrapped. They were really just awesomely presented like I thought I was getting uh, a treasure and actually I, I'm kinda like that. I'm, I'm easily amused. Things that make me happy are um, lots and lots of colors and pencils and paintbrushes, art supplies, basically. You want to you make a big impression on me? Give me some art supplies. I'll, I'll just fall in love with you completely. Anyway, uh, well, let me see. What should I tell you about? Oh, okay. So as far as this goes, I, I really like to ha that I have this. I can sort of keep them together. But as you probably will be able to tell, um, I have a lot of brushes. I've got brushes and I've got more brushes and I've got more brushes. I mean, that's something that you always, uh, you're always going to find the need for. Um, usually what happens is when I get a new set of brushes, they become the holy grail of brushes and I keep them very pristine and in their, to themselves um, like these are right now. And then, you know, eventually they do wear out, but I still have a tendency to hang on to them forever because I have five grandchildren, and when they come to visit, they like to paint. And sometimes they're not really very kind to my paintbrushes. So um, I have a little stash that's for when they're here, and then I have my stash for when I want to do my own thing. So there's 15 brushes here. Um, let me see, it says there's one fan brush, uh, three liners. The liners are the ones with the longer, they have the longer um, hairs on them so that you can paint uh, like longer continuous lines easier. Um, let me see. There's, so there's three of those. Seven rounds. To, have, to be a round, basically when you look at the frill of your paintbrush, it's round. Sometimes they're flat or whatever. This one's a round. And you can see that it's um, 
it's round and it's got a point on the end of it and then it has uh, seven of those because you do use them quite frequently three flats flats are kind of one of my favorites too the flats obviously you can see that it's flattened out more and the edges are flat okay and then one angle brush and that is this one right here and as you can see it has a slight angle at the end so you can do you know get in detail you can do some kind of calligraphy type lines you know you can go thin and then when you turn it to another direction it's a wide line so they're all very useful this is a great set I'm, I'm impressed already I've been using them for about two weeks um, I guess you'd say maybe yeah about two weeks so um, that's pretty much a good test for me I'm going to um, show you a little bit on how you can use it um, this is a little tiny canvas board uh, that I had started to paint this angel quite a while ago um, and then just kind of got distracted but I think it's time to finish her up so what I'm going to use uh, use these tiny little brushes here for a tiny little canvas now you can also use them for these rocks um, these stones I call them rock stars I've been painting these for a couple years um, they make great gifts I just like holding them um, my grandkids when they come over they like to paint with me and, and we usually have a basket of rocks so there's some under here but it's really kind of heavy so I don't really want to pick it up right now and show you however um, we'll be getting into some rock painting if you want um, sometime down the road but let's go ahead and take a look at these brushes I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see um, I've got to figure all this out I've never really done this before in front of a camera so and plus I'm the only one here taping myself that means oh okay anyways give me a minute and I will be right back okay so just to save some time and through the magic of technology I'm going to speed things up a bit and do some speed painting for you and then I'll get back to you when we're finished with that have it the fire and me angel and thanks to the fire and me detail paintbrush set I got a lot done on this thing I use a lot of um, other things such as colored pencils um, some watercolor pens a little bit of acrylic paint and of course my fire and me brushes highly recommend them I love them they're great if you have any questions let me know I will put the link right here so you can find them on amazon.com easier and I'll probably put it in the uh, description as well let me know if you have any questions please like and subscribe I would appreciate it and you guys have a great evening peace out